All right, today we are in Marble Falls and I am at the place known as the Dead Man's Hole. So this place is supposedly haunted. Uh, it has a history with like back then in the Civil War. Um, I think about over 17 bodies were actually believed to be dumped here of uh, people that like supported like the Union and uh, it has all the information here on this stone. I'm a little bit nervous because uh, this this investigation is going to be by myself. So I got here a little bit before the sun is going down. So I got like another hour of daylight. And we're going to begin this investigation. Again, nervous because I'm here alone. Uh, so I'm going to pray to God that nothing bad happens. And uh, we get some good evidence. So um, right here they have this plaque. If you want to pause the video and read that you can so again we're in an area where tragic things happen to people bad things happen to people people were hung here uh, bodies were dumped in this cave um, it is sealed up now I don't think anybody can go down there anymore but I'm here all alone and we're gonna see if this thing is really haunted so I came over to like the actual cave entrance itself and I noticed that I think someone literally uh they, someone put a I think that's a quartz crystal down there I wonder if um I don't know maybe somebody uh, put that there for like uh maybe charging it or something like that if you're if you know anything about crystal and stuff I don't really know much but uh, maybe someone will come back and retrieve that. I'm not going to touch it. I'm not going to take it or anything. But the cool thing is, supposedly, those will also give uh, spirits more energy to uh, communicate. Again, there are over, reportedly, to be 17 bodies dumped in this very cave. And even multiple hangings from a tree that used to be, like, over this, too, as well. So, right now, I'm just kind of chilling. Uh, waiting for the sun to go down once it starts getting a little darker. I'm gonna start setting up the equipment, but yeah, I just wanted to point that out That's very weird. I wasn't expecting to look in here and See a crystal, you know, uh, one thing I forget to do a lot when we begin in investigations when it takes quite a while for stuff to you know Start coming through on the spirit box and everything uh, Before I start the actual investigation and it gets dark I'm gonna go ahead and uh, call out to any spirits here if there are any spirits here that would like to communicate with me here in a bit, I'll be setting up equipment um, for anyone who has died here and uh, wants to uh, share their story. Uh, you, you can do that here in a little bit. So just calling out to anyone who is here and wants to share your story. All right, guys, the sun is now starting to set. It's getting much darker out now. Got all my gear in this bag ready to go. Also, I got a new camera bag for the trips. And I got even more equipment. I got cat balls and I have dowsing rods. So we're going to put those to use in this video and uh, see if we can get anything to set those off or move my dowsing rods for me. I have gotten them out and messed up them a little bit. So um, I just got to make sure I'm holding them properly with the tight grip and the thumb like this. And um, try my best not to move them on my own. But... I don't know, I've never used them before. This would be my first time using them on an investigation, so that's gonna be awesome. I got the camera on the tripod. So as it's starting to get darker now, I thought I thought I did hear some like people kind of talking over there, but which there is there is private property over there and stuff like that. And uh, actually this land right here is privately owned land, but it's a uh, like it was given like it's still privately owned, but like it's like a park though. Like they made it into a park where people can come here. So um, there wasn't any hours I saw on a sign posted or anything like that. So hopefully I don't get in trouble for being here like late later at night. Which I'm not staying too late. I'm only going to stay here probably max until like 10, 10 p.m. Because I still got a two hour drive back to my place. And um, that's going to be fun. And I'm also very tired. But yeah I do have the feeling that I'm being watched. Like someone's watching me. So, yeah, I'm start, starting to feel that a little bit. Make sure we're recording so we don't lose any footage like last time.
All right, guys. I I just started setting up all my stuff. I just started recording, and that cat ball right there has gone off twice, and I just caught it going off again. Uh, I also have another cat ball in that corner next to my backpack. I got my REM pod setting right there, and there's another cat ball right here. Again, it's already going off. We're already getting some activity right now. And I'm all here alone. Also got the uh, EMF reader. All right, I see you uh, found my cat ball toy. Could you make it go off again? Maybe on the count of three. One, two, three. I also have this uh, REM pod right here. Um, it's an antenna that senses your electromagnetic wave. If you get your hand close enough to it and uh, you touch the antenna, it will make it go off. Could, could you uh, try to touch the antenna for me? I also have this EMF detector uh, too. Can you make it spike for me, please? I think you made it spike, but I wasn't looking. I'm gonna set it right here for you. If, if you want to put some energy into that, you can make it uh, spike all the way to red, please. Or even heck, even make it spike a little. Yeah, and now that I'm recording, I noticed the cat ball isn't going off now. But I'm happy I did capture it when it actually went off the first time. Like, I literally was just putting... Alright, thank you. Uh, thank you for setting the cat ball off for me. <laughs> Alright guys, uh, I'm getting uh, chills now. There's, there's definitely someone here with us. Alright, so uh, thank you for setting that cat ball off for me. I appreciate it. Whoa, guys, I am getting crazy chills right now. It, it's hot outside right now, and I'm like, my skin is like tightening up. Wow, I, this, uh, whoever we're talking with really likes that cat ball. Is that a yes? Do you, do you like the cat ball? Is it uh, interesting to you? Uh, you probably didn't have these uh, technologies around in your time. Uh, if you're from the 1800s, in uh, Civil War time, could you maybe uh, touch my REM pod for me? Just take a couple steps over here and uh, just put your hand near the antenna and it'll make it go off. Okay, um, right here I have a spirit box, okay? What this does is it sweeps through radio frequencies. If you don't know what radio frequencies are, uh, they're invented to where you can speak into a box and communicate with someone across the world uh, through through like waves in the air. So it's like a wireless um, telegram, uh, if you think about it. So uh, what you can do is uh, manipulate the frequency of the static in this, and you can actually um, speak words through it. That, and you can tell me things. So here in a second, I'm going to turn it on. And I'll, I'll ask you a couple questions. Maybe you can give me your name through the spirit box. Okay, guys, I'm going to turn this cat ball off and then turn it back on. Because I don't know if it's maybe uh, now functioning. Because it just keeps going off nonstop. Maybe, it, maybe it's like messed up or something. So I'm going to try to debunk this. Okay, so I turned it off. I'm gonna reset it. It's gonna flash for about 20 seconds. Okay, it's stationary. Once that 20 seconds or so is up, it should turn off and stay off unless something trips it. Okay, so if that one keeps going off like that, um, I'm gonna take it as an equipment failure. I'm not, probably not gonna use that one anymore. But if it doesn't go off for a while and then all of a sudden it goes off, then maybe there's something actually tripping it, but who knows, it could just be um, the ball just messing up and not working right. Um, 
Whoever I'm speaking with, I also have two other cat balls if you want to set those off. One's right here, and there's one over here. Uh, they both set off the same way as this one. I'm going to be starting the spirit box session. Uh, we're going to see if we can get any names through this. If I do capture any names in the video, I'm going to go back and look at the names on that plaque because some people's names that are on that plaque right there are actual people who whose bodies were dumped in here or they were hung here, unfortunately. So uh, we'll, we'll see what we can get in the spirit box. We Pretty much every location I've gone to, I've gotten so much stuff through the spirit box. Again, I'm going to scan at AM frequency because most of AM is static. Uh, there are a couple channels on there that actually have talking and stuff like that, but most of AM is just static. So, And we are in a pretty uh, rural area, so there shouldn't be much radio channels picking up. So let's get started.
body chills right now. Again, it's like still like 90 degrees. And like, it's cooling down a lot, but like, it's still hot and humid. Like, I shouldn't be like getting cold. There, there's definitely a presence around me right now. And I feel like multiple spirits are around me right now. How old were y'all when y'all died? Thank <laughs> you. 
are you guys at peace? Or are you resting? That, that was more like a 15 minute spirit box session. Um, my camera ran out of memory because I was forgetting to clear the cards. So some of that abruptly got cut off, but we still got plenty of really good evidence of the uh, cat ball going off. I'm pretty sure I got that, hopefully. Uh, I cleared some memory up on my camera from the old footage. That's my bad. I should have known better to uh, clear that card for this investigation. But now we have plenty of memory freed up uh, to do what we need. I'm probably going to need to change out my light real quick because that one's probably, it's already at half battery. So um, now what I said at the end of the other clip, I turned the spirit box off and right before I turned it off, a voice came through the spirit box like last second. I don't know what it said, but that happened. Um, again, we have the cat ball over here going off like crazy. This one hasn't gone off again. Uh, I don't know if I caught any of that because I might have been sitting in front of it because I forgot. REM pod hasn't gone off. But now I'm going to be getting out my dowsing rods and um, I'm going to be asking yes or no questions. Uh, cross them for yes, open them for no. Uh, that's what we're going to be doing next. Um, I haven't done this before. This will be my first time using dowsing rods. And also, if someone pulls up, it's going to be very awkward because, like, I'm in the freaking dead man's hole uh, talking to ghosts. So that's going to be very awkward. So, yeah. This is really creepy. I have the most unsettling feeling. Like, I'm just being watched like a hawk. I feel like I'm being watched from all around. And again, there, there's no one here with me right now. Um, again, it's very creepy. I'm a little bit scared, but... Gotta, get, gotta make this video freaking made for you guys. I am, like, terrified right now. Like, my, my fight or flight response is, like, kicking in. And I'm just trying to stay calm right now. Okay. <laughs> Whew. Okay, well, I still got my REM pod right there, cat ball, EMF detector. Hopefully I'm not blocking it. Alright, so this will be my first time using these dowsing rods. Okay, so I am so nervous. Okay, so right here I have these dowsing rods. Um, cross them for yes and open them for no. Alright, uh... Is there anyone here with me? Anybody can cross these for me if there is. Okay. Uh, was that a no? Because, I mean, if you move them, you're here. <laughs> are, 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 you j are you just playing a joke? That's cool. I know you're probably trying to calm me down because I'm freaking out, but... I'm talking to people I can't see right now, and I'm in the dark alone. This is very creepy. Is there anyone here with me? Can you cross them for yes? Or, them guys, I legit felt something like tug on it. Like, I am not moving at all. Can you cross them for me, please? Just push them together. Come on, you got it. Just a little bit more. You almost got it. There you go. Yo, all right. Can you open them up for me, please? Can you open them for me, please? Take your time. You're all right. Yo, I did not do that, guys. I swear on my life. And God, and Jesus Christ, I did not do that. Whew, right, something legitimately like moved them. I didn't move my hands whatsoever. That was insane. Okay. Um, uh, cross them for yes. Open them for no. Can you, can you set off my REM pod for me? Yes or no? There's something crawling on my hand. Hold on, there's something crawling on my hand. I felt it, but I didn't see anything. Ugh, I think something was touching my hand, or either there's a bug crawling on my hand, one of the two. All right, can, can you touch my REM pod? Sorry, I had to put them down for a second. Can, can you please touch my REM pod? Yes or no?
Is that a no? Okay, that's all right. If, if, you, if you don't want to touch it, you don't have to. You, you, you can do what you're comfortable with. Could you maybe set off my EMF detector? If, if it's still no, push them back farther. Like all the way to my shoulders. Okay. I felt you, I felt you push them. Okay, that's all right. If you, if you don't want to touch those, you don't have to. Okay, that's that's fine. All right, guys. So far, for the first time on using these, like I actually got these out and messed around with them in my house. You know, um, and I stood there. I didn't ask any questions though, but I was actually able to hold them extremely still, and they never moved. And I'm pretty sure I'm like setting as still as I can of a tight grip, my thumbs on the edge like this. And something, I, f I literally can feel something like tugging on it and pushing it. Like, I swear to God, like, it it's insane right now. Okay. Um, if you were hunk here, can you cross them for me? Is that a no? Okay. Where, where was your body dropped in the hole here? Here, I'm going to reset them for you. If your body was dropped in the hole here, can you cross them? Did you throw a rock? I heard something hit the ground. I hope the microphone picked that up. Yo. There is something in front of me right now. Oh, God. Okay, guys. That's debunked. It was a lizard. No, it, no, it's a mouse. That was a mouse. Okay. That's what that was, making that noise. That creeped me out. I thought there was, like, footsteps over there for a second. So that's debunked. It was just a mouse. Okay. Again, I'm still extremely uneasy right now. I'm going to kind of set that so I can see what's in front of me. Because I'm sketched out beyond belief. I'm probably going to ask about two more questions. Uh, if you guys want to answer, you can. If not, that's okay. I'm going to be packing up here soon. So, again, if you want to set off the EMF or, I mean, the REM pod or EMF, you can. I still have the cat ball if you want to set it off. So, uh, do, do you want to still set off the cat ball? Can you, can you cross them if, if that's a yes? There is, like, bugs attacking me right now. It's probably from the light. All right, can you cross them if you want to touch the cat ball? Okay, that's that's okay if you don't want to. I heard somebody honk. All right, um, I'm gonna ask one more question. Did you do you support the union? Okay. All right. Thank you. I'm going to be packing up again. If you want to last second, set my REM pod off or uh, my EMF detector, go ahead. That was the most intense thing I have ever experienced. Most partly because I was by myself and I just felt like so much stuff was watching me. And I don't know, like I just got, the longer I stayed there and communicated more, the longer I just got felt more and more uneasy. Um, I don't normally ask this at all in my videos, and I probably never will again, but for the sake of this one, if I ever do an alone investigation again, please smash that like button, and if you're new here, subscribe. Um, again, I try to debunk everything in my videos, uh, and I try to do only real paranormal captures, so all the stuff you see on this channel is going to be real. And, um, again, I encourage you guys also to try to debunk things that I can't even explain. So, yeah, uh, I heard a bunch of noises. I heard rocks moving around. I kind of heard footsteps, but there was some mice that were running around that could have caused that. 
Um, how do cat balls go off like crazy? For some reason, they love the cat balls. And again, very intense. I don't know if I'm ever gonna do this again. This, this was like this was like a it was an experience. So hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next investigation.